Hey guys, I want to thank you for down this second episode with Kirsty Schneider from Primetime Day Train. Sit back and relax. Enjoy this episode. Once again, guys, go visit Apple iTunes, Spotify, Amazon Music, iHeartRadio, or YouTube today to see all the fresh episodes from Seas Get Degrees. And secondly, if you guys want swag, go visit Etsy.com backslash Seas Get Degrees. Once again, guys, thank you very much. Cordon's out. Deuces. don't need an intro because we're on part two so welcome back <laughs> <laughs> thanks <laughs> we we have well, i don't want to say we have she's already back for part two guys so she's returning to talk about uh, prime day trading and the biggest thing we're gonna tell i'm gonna say this because i know we're both talking about this earlier so guys here's a little disclaimer all right income income claims brokerages all that fun stuff you're at your own risk. <laughs> <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> so we'll just leave that one, hang that one out there on the curtain. So uh, trade at your own risk, guys. We're not brokers. We're not nothing. We're just people that yep. do it every day. <laughs> yep, you got it. Yep. Is that the best way of saying it? <laughs> yes. Because we, even if we could recommend brokers, it's still up to you. It's your choice, your accountability. And income claims, even if we said, look, Chad, I can make this amount. That's great but it ends up being your business. So if we could say how much we make or how much you could make, you should probably run away anyway. Exactly. But yep. down the road, when you get successful and you do like a, you know, certain guy on YouTube and say, Hey, this is what I'm, you know, this was what I did in a hundred days. Cool. Uh -huh. Do it. Cause you already yep. have, but otherwise <laughs> going forward. Yeah. No, no one complains, no brokerages, blah, 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 blah. Yes. <laughs> we'll keep the fluff out of it. So, yes. uh, Kirsty is back. We're talking about prime day trading, and this is more about how trading relates to life. And we're going to be digging into her company. And then on the other side of it, we're going to be digging into how trading relates to life. We're going to keep it simple, yes. guys. This is just a simple, straightforward, bare bones type of podcast. Yes. So, so tell everyone, I know we were going on the first podcast about uh, prime day trading, but let's go in depth of it. So exactly what is the company? So Prime Day Trading is a franchise of a main company of education tools, how to get into the Forex market futures as well, where you can buy and sell currency. Now, Prime Day Trading um, has been in business just since last year. I was first a trader, and then I decided to be on the corporate side where I can actually teach people exactly how to buy and sell, what they're looking for, everything like that. Prime Day Trading, along with our other franchisees, is the tools and education you need in order to go into the Forex market with clarity because our indicators are proprietary. They're exclusive to our company. They've got two decades worth of proof. So when we bring someone aboard to see if they're a good fit, they're getting in based on truth. They're getting in based on the rules that we'll teach and that we get to follow. Awesome. And, uh, you want to dig into some of the life of it? I, I know we're going to go in relationships and truth and life and all that stuff. So basically, what can you, what did you accomplish, vice versa? What type of lifestyle do you have now because of trading? Well, when, before I started trading full time, was just doing this, just helping clients, all of that alongside my husband. Um, I was a corporate trainer for a beauty industry academy. So I would bring aboard clients. I would teach them all of that, which was great, but it was demanding a lot of my time. And even though I loved it and I was successful, even if I was in actually taking appointments with clients, doing their teeth or their eyebrows or whatever it was, um, it was good, but it didn't allow me to be at home with my kids around my schedule. I still had a boss and could only make a certain amount because Yes, it was commission and that's great, but there was only so far I could scale it. With trading, I can be done, uh, I'd say an average of 60 minutes a day collectively 
So I could trade, let's say 30 minutes in the morning, 30 minutes at night around my schedule, around my kids. And because my account grows because of corporate funding, for example, I then make more, even though my risk tolerance could be the same, which is awesome. It's as if I'm giving myself a raise every month or every quarter because my account grows. Oh, did, did I hear the word leverage getting flown around in there? Yes. So yeah, more <laughs> leverage in two hours than you did in eight hours. Uh-huh. Yep. Which I think for anybody, if, if people really thought about what they want, they do want something that scales. They do want something where they could put in the same hours, but make more because it grew, right? I relate it to if I go get my hair done, I might pay my hairstylist $100 this month. Imagine paying your hairstylist $200 next month. She asks you why and you say, ah, just because you just get to, to, to make more, even though your execution is the same. Same idea with trading, which is nice because it's around their schedule and then they're able to be consistent with it. Awesome. And then <clears throat> here we go, guys. My voice is kind of getting scratchier, so bear with me. But um, we just kind of went to the, the good fun part of it. So now let's break it down to you're saying truths based off assumptions. So a lot of people live lives on assumptions. Let's just get yes. to the nuts and bolts and say, go 100% truth. So go ahead on both sides of it. We're going to we're going to break it down on trading and then we're going to come back and do the opposite side here. Yes. So in trading, when I am on the line with a client, whether they have experience or not, we start them from scratch because our indicators are exclusive. They're not, you know, random from YouTube or from a book. And we each appointment, okay, here's three rules to follow, Chad. Now we're going to do this. Here's your homework in between. Here's a video to watch to increase your awareness for how they work. You're diving into the market with fake money, but it's a live market. You can see how they work, the value of them, et cetera. And each appointment, as we implement a little bit more, the idea is, is that you're understanding the indicators as a whole, as a whole piece rather than dissections of a puzzle, but that you can analyze them as a painted picture rather than talking yourself out of a trade because you're overanalyzing. Analysis paralysis is what we call it, right? Yeah. And... As you're doing that and as you're practicing, you're able to gauge, okay, what's working? What's not working? How can I improve? What's the common denominator for why I keep winning or why I keep losing? All of which we know, all of which we'll teach. But when you're getting in based on fact, you know that it's a good trade regardless because once you understand the indicators, everything we teach right from scratch is you know that whether you win or lose, the math follows it. So now, even if you stayed at a 60% trader, you lose four out of 10 times, you could still be profitable because now it's about math than it is about, are you coachable to understand the indicators or not? And life-wise, I relate it a lot to relationships. I could even, I relate it to a physical health goal as well. And I'll, I'll tie that in in a second, but relationship wise, if I am married to my husband, we've been married for seven years. Do you think I've just told him one time? I love you. Probably not. Do I just get to kiss him only one time? Probably not. Do we communicate every day? We probably send each other texts. Hey, how's it going? Hey, buckle up. Hey, be safe. Things like that. Right. You don't just do it once. And when my husband and I are able to communicate, we're on the same page together. If my husband looks at me funny and I internalize that and interpret it where I feel, then I could be wrong, which creates drama, which creates an argument, which creates resentment, whatever it is, right? Same idea with trading. If I were to only take something from my husband that was truth rather than my interpretation of being offend offended or mad at him or whatever it is, we'd have or could have a better relationship if it was just based on fact. Same thing with the market. You get in based on truth, it's a better outcome. You interpret it based on, ooh, I'm greedy. Ooh, I'm gonna get into the market based on revenge because I lost and so now I'm gonna get back into it and show you up. Nope, that doesn't work. Those habits don't work long-term. And if they do, cool, keep them up. And if they don't, knock it off. <laughs> I'm laughing at that because I know people like that. So. Uh-huh. Yep. But it's the truth. I mean, imagine a world for a moment if we only did things based on truth 
not interpretation, not what social media told us, not what someone did and someone said and drama here and drama there. We'd be a much more peaceful world if we only had it on truth. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty, my, my sponge is pretty much lit, not sponge. My filter's lifted. And uh, uh-huh. I tend to speak the truth a lot, which uh-huh. a lot of people like it. Some people don't, but they respect it. So sure. um, it's, I'm very professional at times, but on the other end of it, I will say, Hey, I uh, no, don't like that. You know, in nope, a nice way. Like saying, right. So, no. And I was going to add in on the husband since I was married, you know, the old kind of tap on the shoulder, say go to bed type of joke back in the day. But um, yeah, we'll just leave that for a different day. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, like I was just say, it usually this is a half hour um, podcast, but you just jammed everything in in like 15 minutes. <laughs> well, I do what I can. <laughs> so um, they can go to primedaytrading.com there. If they want more information, there's an awesome blog there with similar types of language, great insight. And then um, the program overview is really good because it basically paints the picture for what this is, what it entails, what you can make, all of that. And then um, to sign up, it's the green start 30 day demo button, 10 bucks. That's it. Two coffees. That's it. You get to risk your $10 to see if it's a financial vehicle for yourself. Guess where my 10 bucks is going. Where? To coffee? Get... <laughs> no, I'm going to you guys. I actually have the tab sitting there. <laughs> because I'm going to break this down because I do do exactly what you do. But a lot of times my winning percentages is not as high as it should be. So I'm going to go right. step back a little bit, guys, get some learning done, not analyze you know, paralysis now, whatever it was. Um, uh-huh. yep. I'm to keep it simple, kind of put my nose to the grindstone and get some learning done here. So love it. Welcome. Well, not say welcome. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to end it because it was just right there. Right there. Perfect. So go take a break, go get your voice back. Have a good day. And uh, like I said, we're not going to drag this out anymore. Have a great one. (laughs) Thank you. Thanks, Chad. Yeah. Bye.